Um, our last speaker is Jonathan Bant, Professor of Law, so he's going to give us... Well, uh, thank you very much. I'm actually only an adjunct professor, so, so that really doesn't count. It's and good I'm enough here, for me, John. Uh, I'm here in my capacity. I'm here in my capacity as counsel to the Library Copyright Alliance, uh, which uh, consists of uh, large U.S. library uh, organizations, and uh, you, you know, we're, we're uh, authorized entities, which, as Alan described, are the, are the key pivots. Uh, to the uh, operation of this treaty. Uh, and, and I guess we're all in agreement about many things here. Um, the, the, the one thing I want to stress and take a slightly different angle is that um, in, in many ways we live in an age of anxiety. Uh, the uh, publishers uh, and other rights holders are anxious about infringement. Um, authorized entities are, are, are anxious about engaging in various kinds of activities that might subject them to lawsuits. Um, the, the anxiety uh, about treaties, uh, sort of uh, the treaties in general and the treaty for exceptions in specific, sort of has manifested itself in, in this treaty, which is much longer than it was when it started, when the process started. It includes by my count, 10 direct or indirect references to the three-step test, and it, it, it makes clear in probably 45 different ways that, you know, it doesn't mean this and it doesn't mean that, and you don't need to do this and you don't need to do that, and I think all that reflects uh, anxiety. Um, but w what I hope is that now that we have it, that it might dispel uh, anxiety. Uh, so, so certainly uh, it would be great as, for more countries to start uh, implementing it in, into national law and as a matter of national law allowing both uh, uh, d domestic uh, accessible copies to be made and more cross-border exchanges and all the rest. But, but I would also would hope to see, and I think is a likely impact, uh, as we have this here, is that, is that there will be a decrease in anxiety. And so, uh, authorized entities, for example, uh, will maybe start engaging in, in making more accessible format copies, uh, even if there isn't a domestic implementation uh, in both countries or whatever, that they'll, st they'll see this and they'll, uh, this will provide a framework uh, for them to engage in activities and for then publishers to also say, okay, well, as long as the authorized entities are operating within <coughs> these parameters, there's really no reason to, uh, you know, to, 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 to clamp down on it and so forth. So I just hope that there is uh, uh, what we would call sort of a penumbral effect uh, of this, and that's a law, law professor term, um, uh, but, but that, 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 this, this, that the treaty will have this, you know, whether it's a, a moral suasion, so not just a, a political, not just a political impact, but sort of like a practical impact of reducing everyone's anxiety and making everyone feel that these activities you can engage, you know, the authorized entity can engage in it and the, 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 the publishers will feel okay if they're just doing this, we'll let them do it, we're not going to sue them, uh, and, and hopefully uh, uh, this will uh, lead to the ultimate objective of uh, providing more accessible format copies uh, uh, as quickly as possible. Thank you.